Raven's urgency and pain point in the eye of the storm that offers a calm place of resolution that brings forward a teacher is the crisis of spiritual erasure, the erasure of the invisible, the erasure of gender bodies, the erasure of queerness, the erasure of the sacred, the erasure of magic, the erasure of the animus spirit in everything, the sentience, the personality, the characters, the webs <coughs> of energetic reality, spiritual reality, the unseen, this whole world that mirrors ours, the mirror world that dances in tandem with ours. Our healers, our medicine. All around us, free medicine. The whole story. Finally understanding all these hidden magics, these unseen things that we see that are some of the biggest things we see. And so the unseen becomes so prominent, it becomes so relevant, so interesting, so necessary, so urgent, so painful. The loneliness and sorrow and the conflicts that it creates to not have this relationship. There's a lot of pain and urgency, you know. And I really had to find this magic because of pain and urgency that I had being so lost and broken without it that I nearly died and some of my friends did and they guide me now. So I'm guided, the ancestor power on our side as it ought to be. This is about euphoria and that's self-determined. This is subjectivity project of collective liberation. It's about consent. And it's always self-determined. We ask our body what that means. We listen. And then we proceed. And we build relationships step by step. And we practice that. And we don't stop. And it's just a presencing with the sacred. In ourselves and others. And it's allowing for it to heal and emerge. Inviting it. Doing the dance. To meet the sacred. And weave the sacred back in. Mm. These bee languages around the garden are something that I know and I want to share different versions that we need to remember with because our ancestors knew we just come here forgetting everything. And it's gotten very extreme now because of how much forgetting has been upon the earth as well. But out of dream and out of unseen comes the remembering now. It's tumbling through really quickly and the world's changing to make this doorway for the ocean to spill in and for this knowing to return. It's not really, um, it's remembering, right? So it's always funny because it's just re- How do you call it? Not re, it's just transforming what is. And in that process, getting to finally be with truly what is. So it's kind of like how you take psychedelics and they open up a whole other bunch of senses and sensations in the relationship. So you're just sort of opening that door more all the time with your own culture. So mushrooms there, in a space of pollination and decomposition, fertilization, nourishment, feasting, you know, connection, uh, distribution. It's all about like creation, gifts, connection, sharing, feasting, transmuting. See, it's transforming and then helping the garden grow. So that's what we're doing. And there's so many different specialnesses to everybody and unique gifts to everybody's and unique parts of the ritual and it's 
it's like art, you know, it's very much like a fingerprint snowplank scene. Snowflakes and fingerprints, you know, we're all superstars and we landed here and everybody's unique thing is just its own beautiful thing. It is like garden, like with flowers and um, music, you know, it's just beautiful what we are and our ancestors did look at things like that and we get to be that special and we get to invoke a bit of a glimmer of what they maybe saw the world, the magics that they understood and lived with. And um, I'm excited for this cultural revival and to be a part of it and to share the <laughs> lost and revive the lost magics of the old world. Mm through the raven's eye and whole time and what happens under the raven's wing heals all the world and this um, awakening story emerges in a wave of euphoria From the inside out, a revolution of hearth magics, enlightening all the hearths to be the stars around the world, around the heart of the mother within. And every medicine wheel turns and spins and weaves and spins, weaves and spins and weaves and spins. And the new world and the turning of the tables and the tides and the shift begins and the turning of the wheel begins and the remembering of what is we feel begins it began so long ago it began when it was destroyed right i'm remembering that i'm connected that far back to this story, it's interesting to weave and to be that. It's intense. I'm a teacher that got called forward from the stars to do the job. And this is it. And it's beautiful. That's why it's about listening in all the ways and realizing it is beautiful. And that's my name. Say my name, say my name. Oh, it is a beautiful name. That is my name. Oh, and it also means listen, to hear. Listen. Oh, it is beautiful. That's right. And that's about it. You know, right there, that's the light. Spark in the dark. New lights, the heart. And from there, the whole sky of heart magic. 